Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, Sammy Vasquez versus Felix Diaz. I watched the fight. A uh, really good fight. If uh, the point wasn't taken away in the 10th round, um, you know, I would have had it a draw. Felix Diaz won by majority decision. You know, so, uh, yeah, I think it was majority. Yeah, it sure was. It was majority decision because of the one point. Uh, because, you know, he... Felix D, you know, Sammy Vasquez kept spitting out his mouthpiece, or, you know, Felix Diaz was hitting him in the mouth, and that, that bad boy kept flying out. So the referee was warning him and warning him, and he just finally took a point away in the 10th. Uh, it was a shame. Uh, Sammy Vasquez was coming on strong. But, you know, I really don't feel sorry for uh, Sammy Vasquez. You know, as far as the fight... Uh, for the first two rounds, Sammy Vasquez won. Then Felix Diaz, instead of just uh, being on his back foot and uh, popping out that jab, getting low and stuff like that, trying to like uh, parry um, Sammy Vasquez's jab and stuff like that, countering with his own jab and backing up on the ropes because he was giving up what, like a good four inches in height and stuff like that, right? I don't have like my box rack up or anything like that to see the height, height and stuff like that. But... It was obvious that Felix Diaz was the shorter fighter. He started following him up with his own combinations. You know, when Sammy Vasquez uh, pressed the action, trying to come in with that jab, Felix Diaz was, you know, would just follow him a few times. He was able to get up on, up on the ropes. So, um, yeah, Felix Diaz, you know, he did a great job getting Sammy Vasquez uh, the backup. Uh, Sammy couldn't fight all that well on his his back foot and whatnot defense was defense wasn't all that good because he was standing tall you know and when felix diaz would get inside you know he'd be landing those uh hooks and stuff like that he made sure that sammy vasquez couldn't tie him up and he got off good clean you know combinations and stuff like that so that was like that from like the third round to like i want to believe like the eighth um you know felix diaz was really Applying good pressure and stuff like that, but he left himself open a few times, and Sammy Vasquez was countering, you know, you know, a little bit himself, and he was able to catch and buzz Felix Diaz, and that's when it it flipped, you know what I'm saying? That's when it flipped, and this is where the argument comes uh, for all the uh, Sammy Vasquez fans is that you know the fight should have been maybe like a draw, because to me, he definitely won the last two rounds. Uh, but the, uh, things changed in the eighth, you know what I'm saying, with Sammy Vasquez, you know, he's got it, he got, you know, he had his bearings, he, I think he was able to, uh, figure out Felix Diaz, and only that, he was able to hurt him, and, um, yeah, so I, I think, in my opinion, Felix Diaz, you know, he was, he was fighting, man, but he was pretty much, um, in, almost like in survival mode not to say he wasn't banging and you know catching sammy but sammy was coming on strong and he was uh, looked like he was about to close the show and he had felix diaz in trouble but that mouthpiece kept coming up coming out man and um the color commentators mentioned like oh maybe we should have had like a fitted mouthpiece or whatnot but anyway man he you know 30 years old you know Come, you know, veteran. You know what I'm saying. Served this country. Um, you you think you would have been able to afford um, a, a good mouthpiece that wouldn't pop out of your mouth? You know what I'm saying. So that's on him. And then another thing, another knock on him, man. You know, Felix Diaz. I don't know if anybody uh, listens to the color commentary, but turns out um, Felix Diaz is a gold um, medalist and whatnot. He's a gold medalist. Uh, pretty much a last minute uh, replacement. I think it was supposed to be Luis Colazo. That would have been nice for Sammy Vasquez, you know, to fight Luis Colazo. But this is even better because, I mean, they're, they, both of these guys are considered prospects. They're not young prospects, but prospects nonetheless, contenders. And, uh, yeah, man, this was like a crossroads fight because Sammy Vasquez, um, you know, because Felix, you know, Felix Dillis is a g g Olympic medalist, you know, highly regarded in his own country. Um, I want to believe is in the Dominican Republic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I won't get in on that, especially like the T-shirts him and his corner hat and stuff like that. You know, get into politics or anything like that, man. 
But um, anyway, back to Sammy Vasquez. My point on that was that he was up on, um, you know, he was up on YouTube talking about how he didn't want to fight Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not now. I want to wait till I get a belt. You know, like he was like guaranteed to have a, a a belt or something like that. Like it was like a foregone conclusion that he was going to get a belt in the WBC. You know what I'm saying? With the sanctioned bodies and stuff like that. And a lot of people will want to see that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, you you know, they already have an amateur history. Excuse me. They already have amateur history. Um... Earl Spence beat Sammy Vasquez twice in the amateurs. I wasn't even aware of, aware of that. That was like new news. I want to believe it was like either Fire Hype or Dante Box Nation. But either way, you know, um, it's sort of like, hey, you know, it, it was your opportunity to to go against a guy that you were familiar with that the... Um, that you could have beat Earl Spence, that everybody would have loved to see that fight, Sammy Vasquez versus Earl Spence, and now you you got an L in your record. Now you like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now now, 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 now you take a step back in your career. You get what I'm saying? You go against a, um, a decorated Olympian, uh, Felix Diaz, a, a guy that's unknown, and you lose. You know what I'm saying? You lose, and now. Now there is no Earl Spence fight, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he takes the Earl Spence fight, man. I mean, he's 30 years old. He's like, oh, we can make money later. And I'm like, nah, man, make it now, bro. you like 30. You get what I'm saying? Um, he's like, you don't have room for, like, another comeback. You know what I'm saying? Just, just go ahead and knock it out, man. Just go ahead and knock it out. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about the fight. Great uh, fight by Felix Diaz. A lot of guys were, like, picking Sammy Vasquez. I thought Felix Diaz had a chance. I'm like, dude, this guy can box. You know, even though he's short, I thought he had a chance. And he won. Man, I should have made a prediction picking Felix Diaz, but could have, would have, should have, man. All right, man, where does he go from here? Felix Diaz, Sammy Vasquez, is he done? I don't think so because it was pretty much a draw. Outside of the one point taken away, it was pretty much a draw, in my opinion. Sammy Vasquez is still highly ranked in the, uh, on box rec. And so let me know what y'all feel, man. Do you guys still want to see that Earl Spence fight? I think he goes and take it, man. You know what? They mentioned Andre Berto, man. They mentioned Andre Berto, not as his opponent, but Virgil Hunter uh, was talking about, you know, Andre Berto. And that would be nice, man. Sammy Vasquez versus Andre Berto. That would be a nice bounce back. Um, or maybe Pauly. Malinaji or something like that. So someone in the U.S. Um, maybe uh, Brandon Rios or even Jeff uh, Horn, man, from Australia, the Hornet, man. Maybe so, you know, that's the young guy. He leaves himself open. Um, he's pretty reckless. That's a winnable fight. Uh, for Felix Diaz, his time is now. He's got to get it on and popping. I don't know where he ranks in the WBC, but. Hey, man, you know, uh, best of luck uh, to him. So y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, bye.